Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here. Today we're looking at Star Wars number 38. This is a super special issue for a lot of reasons. Uh, most notably is that it is the only issue of Star Wars <clears throat> drawn by Michael Golden, legendary comic book artist Michael Golden, who supplied some Star Wars cover, but only interiors for this. So, Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, hit that like button, and let's get right into it. Okay, another point of interest for this is that even though my brother and I were huge Star Wars fans, I don't remember if uh, we really collected the Star Wars comic books. I think he might have had a few issues and possibly, probably the treasury size edition. And I also feel like I remember having the adaptation of... Uh, Return of the Jedi, but I don't know, whatever. Anyway, Michael Golden, one of my favorite comic book artists, um, love him or his work. He's an artist, artist, huge influential. If you look at early stuff by Art Adams, um, you can see a huge Michael Golden influence. Artists like Rob Liefeld and just many from around that um, era were influenced by Michael Golden and. Uh, he just is such a great artist, mainly does covers now, and, you know, back in the day he did do some interiors, not all the time. His detail style is so meticulous, it probably slowed him up a lot. But, you know, the gems that we do have are pretty amazing, like Avengers Annual 10, um, you know, some Doctor Strange issues, Micronauts, of course. Continuing the saga began, begun in the film by George Lucas, released, released by 20th Century Fox. Archie Goodwin, writer, editor, um, anyone uh, from my generation knows the name Archie Goodwin. He's definitely a highly revered uh, person, comic book legend, you know, no longer with us. But um, he definitely made his mark. I most know him as, like, the editor of Marvel Fanfare, I believe that's where I know, like, um, but I know he has been a writer and editor of many great things. Uh, Michael Golden, plotter and penciler, um, Terry Austin, anchor, how cool is that? Love that. Joe Rosen, letterer. Interesting that Michael Golden colored this, um, so glad that Terry Austin inked it. I'm so, I don't know. I mean, like, it seems like it'd be kind of rare at this point. You know, some comic book pencilers did um, occasionally ink their work, but they were kind of grinding it out, staying on the monthly um, schedule. So not a lot did. Um, Danny Fingereth, assistant editor, and Jim Shooter, editor-in-chief. I mean, as far as splash pages go, oh, the other thing I wanted to note, I do nostalgia mostly. I mean, these are usually books that are totally revered to me, but I have never owned or read this before. So this is such like a treat for me to see this Michael Golden art for the first time. I'm in love with it, especially inked by Terry Austin. It is so great. Terry Austin just inks space so well. I love the planets. The Earth. I mean, there's so much going on in here. The TIE Fighters. Um, it just looks fantastic. It is so good. And then we get this great page of Le Luke and Leia. And, of course, I love Princess Leia. And she's got the buns. And just inside, I mean, th so beautiful. I just love the effects that Terry Austin brings. And the little stippling. And his inks just always stand out. It's so gorgeous. I love his work so much. Um, and it is cool that he is coloring this. Um, you know, like I said, like now he's primarily known as a cover artist. And he, notably, he works digitally too. So his art has evolved and looks very different. Um, he's done some like killer Batman stuff, killer Nightwing covers, I want to say, sort of come to mind. Um, interesting because... I don't know if, uh, I want to say that they probably had the rights to use the likeness of the character, but not super, um, you know, I'm not, I mean, I don't know if Michael Golden is really known for his, you know, some artists are, are good with likenesses, some are not. I don't know if, uh, 
I mean, of course, they're great faces because it's Michael Goldner and it's completely beautiful, but I feel like it's not completely, you know, Carrie Fisher and Mark Hamill um, referenced. And I don't know if that was intentional or not because of licenses or just because his style, you know, maybe it's a more stylistic approach, but whatever. I think it looks so good. I just love it. My pops of Zipatone. Anyone who watches my channel knows I love Zipatone. So that's the little screen effect that was created when comics were done completely, you know, on boards and manually. Um, they would have plastic sheets um, that you could, would cut out the area that you wanted and the density or whatever level of the screen and be able to place it. You have to cut around the word balloon, depending on how the comic was made. I mean, there wasn't just one made a way to make a comic. <clears throat> you know, mostly, especially with monthly comics, they were drawn on the boards. The boards were sent to the anchor. The, then, or no, the boards were sent to the letter, and then the anchor would do it. So you're losing so much of the original pencils. Of course, now you can, even if you're still... Uh, penciling on boards and someone else is inking it, a lot of times they'll just scan the pencils and let the inker either print it out or just ink it digitally or whatever. But who cares about all that? We've got all this gorgeous, like, older art happening in the Star Wars universe, and I just love it. Like, Michael Golden must have had a total blast. Like, this is, you know, like, how you do it, I think, you know. I feel like, you know, Michael Golden must have had a lot of uh, people wanting to work with him, uh, work for them, and probably was able to handpick his properties. I don't know if that's 100% true, but how could it not be? Oh my gosh, great subscription ads for Marvels. And I had this Marvel Fun and Games book, of course I wrote all over it with a pencil, so it would be worthless if I still had it, which I highly doubt I do. Highly doubt I do. Love this. What a great use of, like, negative space and blacks there. The spotting of the blacks. Just the space effects. It just looks so cool. I mean, you know, it's like, uh, sometimes I feel like comic book versions, and I feel like I said this during my Terminator uh, Dark Horse uh, deadly objectives video, but, um, you know, it's kind of hard to capture the magic of movies on comics, but then I think it works in reverse effect too, because, you know, Michael Golden's such a, an amazing artist using, utilizing so many different, like, uh, tricks and things at his disposal and techniques, and that goes for Terry Austin too, with the different things he brings to the art, so, um, you know, they're separate entities, but I feel like, you know, Star Wars, I mean, who the hell wouldn't want a Star Wars comic book, right? So cool. I mean, that looks so signature Star Wars there. It is fun to see this stuff, and it is so cool to see this Michael Golden. I mean, he is just killing it page after page after page. It is so amazing. I love this effect there. And seeing like this, especially since like colors were so limited and I think that like, <clears throat> not all because you did have your grades like, you know, Glennis Ween and stuff, but certain colorists just sort of didn't put much into it. I don't think so. That is a good way to have a certain level of control over the art by coloring it yourself. And that was truly beautiful. What a special comic book that is. I'm so glad I got that. And it's in nice, pretty good condition, so I'm happy about that. Anyway, Star Wars number 38, totally classic, stands apart. Look how huge that G is, that cracks me up. Um, love this. This cover is so great. I kind of wish I'd, I'd love to see this, like, recolored now, maybe even by Master Golden himself, but, or uh, he, he probably did cover the, color the cover. I wonder, I wonder, wonder, wonder. Um... But I love this art. Is it like phasing through the floor? Yeah, I guess so, in a way. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, Star Wars number 38, the Michael Golden issue. A classic for sure. 
Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button and I will bring you more later.